I was just following like everybody else. Ooh, welcome so, back. I think probably you're probably hey, supposed to be too. Yeah, this I was the one night our name is really descriptive. Yeah, we're not really while focused. while you're talking, while you're out talking with with these other people, and it you know it takes a little bit to walk over to talk to the tiefling to even find the tiefling first, yeah. and then talk to him, and then walk around to find the other tiefling to talk to him. Yeah. Uh, while you, you two are out doing that, the other three who are still in the Great King Inn, uh, Heron walks in. You know, blonde hair and everything, fancy dress. He's a Nazi. Dressed fancy. <laughs> He's not so he apron. walks in in the same guise as I saw him change into. Uh, when the urchin was uh, right, like like what what he what was the at the told table. Me. Okay. The oh, the table. when he was at the table, so that was that was brunette. He changed. No, no, he uh, changed the brunette. He changed to brunette. Oh, okay. Paper. Paper. Heron is oh, blonde. Was the other way. Oh, was yeah. Write your paper right there with your paper. Okay, Theron was the blonde elf. I wrote that, that down. Oh, we got it. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, it, that was a while ago, so it is possible that I have that up. Yeah. yeah, I thought the one we met in the tavern was there in, brown. You're right, you're right. Okay. My bad. I got that jacked up. So yeah, brown hair mode. Perrin. I have a question really quick. Last time we played, when we met uh, Perrin, I cast Did I get magic. Did I not no, see he's... anything on his oh. Like he That was a different he bar, He was pretty I think. much glowing. Okay. No, I cast him when he was all the way. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. He was pretty much glowing all, all the way, like everything. Like everything. I have no joke right there, but other than the, like, glowy winger joke. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Memba. Wingers glow when you cast Detect Magic. Yeah. It, it because they're magically delicious. Remember gross. that, ladies. <laughs> You can shake your head all you want. I'm helping okay. you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're helping a bunch of nerds playing D and D. Yeah, so, I'm helping all three guys that watch that shit. So Perrin walks in. They Paul watches. And he goes over. All three guys in transvestite. He goes over uh, and better. sits at his usual table and orders his fans. <laughs> and, <laughs> and sits and waits. He does see you sort of like at the bar, I guess. And, and on and, eggs and bacon, and kind of, kind of wave you, wave at you, and Kirk's just like hold the fuck on. <laughs> Di stuff you in. Stuff happening here. Importance, eggs. <laughs> no, what? By, by this time, you you have finished off the, the all the eggs bacon. and bacon. We, you have killed the eggs. And all bacon. the eggs. <laughs> all the eggs and bacon. But what'd you do? Eggs. I, all the eggs. I had I had two dozen eggs. Uh, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> I'm so feeling great! Oh. Count. That oh. was 37 <laughs> eggs. Kurt can read Scorp. Mind your own bed. Yeah, I did read Scorp. Fucking <laughs> Scorp. Um, uh, that was my favorite hour is, of the game. Just as a question, is his normal table anywhere near a window of any kind? No. Okay. In that case, and he sits with his back against the wall. Smart man. That's how I said it at bars. Um, <laughs> Wait, does he use it at bars? That's impressive. No, I do. I, I always like to have my back. I like to look at the. I meant literally door. at bars. I mean asses. That too. <laughs> <laughs> the donkeys, donkeys guys. Remember. <laughs> and so it's just. Uh, Us three in the bar right now? Yeah, yes. you three. We're we're out and about. No, okay. So we're doing shit. Funny man. He's very expensive to drink with. Are you just reading, Corey? I was about to say it was Ezreal that <laughs> took the lead it's last fine. time. I was just curious. Actually, it was kind of Herc who took the lead hurt. with this guy last time. Oh yeah. yeah okay. But, so, but that's why I say it's a funny man. Herc. He's, he's very expensive to drink with. Her. You go. Oh. I. Yeah, he does like sort of motion you over. He um, motions it's over. I go ahead and tell the barkeep whatever he's. I think I did this last time and it backfired on me, but whatever he's drinking, I motion to Perrin. <clears throat> Give me another. 
and I pay her and then walk over to where he is and I sit down. Alright, that's now that you buy. Okay. He buys the fancy one. I know he does. <laughs> I'm thinking a bottle call is gonna run more than you know, a full thing of bear. He drinks he drinks the fancy wine. Only the finest of fancy wines. And anyway, by wine, I as I get up stuck. with his own cup. In, as I get up I nudge her he, getting he brings his own cup. Anyway, that's I I, I do remember that's an arbitrary point. That yeah. But yeah. But I go over I sit. I, I nudge her before I get up. I I walk over. And I'm like, "So do you have this ready yet? We're doing a job run, right?" Yes, yes, I do have the job prepared. Fancy man, are there any bears? <laughs> I killed a bear. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind. Don't mind Sorry, my counter. He's full of eggs. <laughs> don't mind my uh, counterpart. Uh, he's uh. Are you making love to that bag of funions? <laughs> he looks like it. Herc say the darndest thing. Herc say the darndest thing. your leg on the other side. Look, I die. <laughs> did you? I did. I got my cape's on this way. Oh, yeah? yeah. Who did you bring it to? A town blacksmith. Leather. Worker. The town leather worker. <laughs> That's what he meant. Fuck just the amulet. <laughs> I see you've added some teeth to it. I will not myself. You can see the decay in this one. Crash. He had gingivitis. <laughs> right. At that point, I just reach up, put my hand over Herc's mouth real quick. <laughs> after he and I was like, ladder. so. <laughs> yeah, after he bumped the ladder. He's still on, he's still on the chair. And the, the table. Chair. There we go. I, I was setting down, too. I, I can oh. lean. Like, I can lean like oh, this. Jumped. It might not look dignified, but I do lean. I do, I do enjoy it. I, like, I've said this before. I, I enjoy the juxtaposition between these two's characters. <laughs> right. Pete! Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So. What do, we, what do we need to do? I need... The whole, whole time, big, shitting smile on my face. Right, right. I need you to acquire one left. some ancient documents for me. Wait, what? No, why do you need those? Well, I, I wasn't completely listening, and I thought I you have a, as a penchant DM. for a what? History. Well, I suppose we could do that for you. You know. But I mean, I can't remember exactly what my other friend was talking about or anything, but you know, we're not going to do it for free. Of course, of course. Uh, the details and then the pay. Well, now, you, go, you go first. Should, then. I, should I wait until all of you are present? Depends. Well, Do you have a belt there's only the one. There's only one or two of uh, us that. <laughs> I'm the only one talking to him right now. You what? never said you. You never what? said you wait, came wait, over. What did you say? <laughs> so that, that depends. No, Do you have a belt of genitalia? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you did. Yeah. Belt. That's the joke. I. <laughs> no. I Let's just okay. continue, please. Again, oh, a belt God. of genitalia. That sounds just like a comedy. Speak to my guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, my friend is very strong, but he got hit on the head, and so he's been a little bit <laughs> simple since then. I took an oar to the head once. He used to be an adventurer. Raziel. Then he took an oar to the head. He's still an adventurer. He used to be a pirate, Great. and then he took an oar to the head. I see that you've been strangely silent. Well, maybe not. You're not even, silent, you're not even moving around very much. Yeah. In fact, yes. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> How kind of you to notice. I'm constipated. So should <laughs> holding in a poo right now. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I think that we should wait until all of you are present so I don't have to explain myself twice. Okay? So just have a seat. We'll talk about various things. Some small talky type stuff. And then... Uh, normal pleasantries. Normal pleasantries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about that weather? Blah, blah, blah. If you Man, insist. The Knicks are playing good. And then once they no, arrive, we'll launch out the Knicks. For the Knicks, they are. Okay. 
they're not what they're playing. talking about. It's off season. Okay, Same there's style. other stuff I don't care about. Anywho, yeah. you two aren't at the bar. No, we're at okay. Well, they're at a bar. It's just not, but not the same yeah, bar. Okay. You're not yeah. at. Yeah. Because they're cause you're going to a bouncer. Okay. Yes, I am talking then, to a bouncer. So we're outside of a bar. Not even in the damn bar. Yeah. The great big bouncer. More, more infernal speak. <laughs> at that point, I People, just like, say, okay. You're okay. And, so, like, he is standing at the door, and mm -hmm. you're standing next to him, and when you're talking to him in infernal, like, People walk around like they give you a wide berth. I believe the term is. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, is that, that, that for joke? Me? <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> that's my foot. <gasps> Keep your long ass legs. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. That's my foot. Okay. Anywho, I know pretty much all the tieflings in this town, and you're new. <laughs> yeah, I'm just part of a part of a nice adventuring party. We're just kind of passing through. Looking for a few jobs, making some money. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, the booze flows pretty freely here for me. So, there you go. There you go. Um, mostly just trying to figure out any any strange happenings going on around the city, you know. Right. In particular, you know, an elf who, you know, likes to change his hair color every once in a while. That. No, anybody know? Don't you know anybody named Perrion? Anything like that? Yeah, Perrin? Perrin. Yeah. Sorry, I don't yes, know names. I, I do know Perrin, yeah. Mm. He's a very wealthy guy. He is very wealthy. Any. Does he seem any kind of strange to you? I'm, I'm taking a job from him, and I'm kind of trying to. Mm. You know, he's hard to read. Right, right. His. I mean, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, his coin spins just as well mm -hmm. as anyone else's. So, I mean, outside of that, I don't really. He, he, he's a good tipper. Oh, okay. Oh, he doesn't seem strange to me, though. That's fair enough. Then again, I've only been in this town a couple of days, so there he is. Anyway, most elves seem strange to me, so. I gotcha. Yeah. He said with an elf standing beside him. Half elf. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can hear. Yeah, that, especially that guy giving me the dirty look while we're talking. Do you need me to keep following? Nah, he's a friend. Okay, great. He's a friend. That's fine. No. Well. <laughs> Herp -a -derp -a -derp. I'm infernal. <laughs> 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 well, did you hear about? Have you heard any other, you know, quick money-making plans in the area? Well, this pyramid scheme. Mmm. Cut to the. Oh yeah, really. Invest nah. half your money. All right. Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Should probably meet a. Elf about a job. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, it was good speaking with you. Yeah, he's on. Alright. I'm around. Okay. Sorry. That's scabbard though. <laughs> yeah, the scabbard dome. That's the joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Can't unsee that now. I'll point that out to everybody on Friday. <laughs> wow. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, guys. <laughs> Tell him nothing special. Let's go back. <laughs> right. When you get back to the, to the tavern, to the Grey King Inn, uh, you see Perrin at his other table, or at the other at the table that he was at when you first met with him. And these three are there, enjoying. They're they're just talking about. I ate all the eggs. They're talking about. Good job, stuff. Herc. Herc, Herc smash eggs. Ah, good. Soren and Kyren are here. Hi! Please have a seat. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll stand. Okay. That's fine. I'll see you. I don't care. You'll seat? I'll seat. Okay. The words don't matter. I'm infernal. <laughs> so here's the <laughs> South of here, along the road, uh, write this down. It's it's the southwest road because the road when 
talking. The road when heading out south splits into three directions. There's a sort of southeast, there's just a south, and there's southwest. Southwest... It yeah. usually involves peppers and onions. There is a dwarven city. It's also there's a dwarven town. It's not really a city. It's more like a small town. What do they call it Amon? Amon? <laughs> it's called uh, Nanarin. Yeah, I know. It's kind of a crazy name, but that's the way they roll. Can so. we roll history for that? Uh, you can, sure, I guess. We should roll history for that. Uh, well, it better be high, because most of you, you are not... Seventeen. Not you say, dwarves. I I don't know much about it. Yeah. Nope. Five. That's a big no. All kinds of no everywhere. I happen to speak dwarvish. So. Well, that's that's. So that'll help us at least. True. Nothing else. That will. All right. One shot. Although, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. That's I know my history. You have no history stat. It's a yeah, yeah. zero. Uh, but pirate shanties. Yeah. Fair enough. Pirate shanties. Yes. I gotcha. You're a pirate shanty. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to Gerald, not Jeremy. In that particular I you little town. Like, Gerald mind trick me for a second. Because I have my head down and you're just like, <laughs> slowly to your beard. I'm like, what the hell? This is not the beard <laughs> y'all looking for. <laughs> it's the beard I'm never looking uh, for. Beard or beard? Now, yes. Okay. I have the perfect beard. Mine's bigger. Please hand me the player's handbook. Player's handbook. I assume assume you don't need it for anything. I've, He's just been I've reading finished. it for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm finished. Okay. Read it front to back. Where's my quiz? It's funny, guys. Not, not gonna lie. For some reason, since Eli's not here, we've supplemented the ADD into this group. Badly. And the person playing Eli has done nothing ADD. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've been... Stinging. You're failing. You've been less... You're about in to lose the game than like honestly though, okay. Eli has probably been about five times more in or above the game than he's been this whole game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Eli does that a lot. I'm sorry, I'm building this wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have the glass. Alright. Oh, it's just way to fool. There is a particular dwarven noble family known as the Loaders. L O D E R R. That is, that is their their clan name. Okay. Uh, within their house, they have some documents, some historical documents that I would like to make uh, this easier. Uh, just any paper you happen to find in there, just grab it all. <clears throat> now, obviously, uh, that won't that won't be particularly easy. And there must be requisite incentive for the acquisition of such. Now you've said my magic word, incentive. What are mm -hmm. we? What are we talking with about uh, uh, from that word? Calm down, Darky. Fifteen thousand gold. Each. Mm. No. <laughs> uh, not each. No. And um. Each. How far away is this? Is this mm, place again? Mm. Not very. Yeah, not it's very. It's really it's, not. It's it's about f uh, two to four days, depending upon your mode of travel, southwest of here. Well, um, let mm. me confer with my colleagues, and then um, we'll be right back. Before. That's just what I'm saying. You can. Before we step away, um, why? I rather enjoy history, and I have other people, other clients, that might be interested in some of these documents after I read through them. Are these documents going to be incriminating toward those people? Or are they just... Not necessarily. This entire historic. time I'm shooting a very they're, angry look. They're mostly Jordan. just historical ignore. documents. Can I roll to see if you're lying? Sure. What, do I roll deception against that? Uh, no, it's insight. Um, insight. Yeah, it's insight versus your your deception. Mm -hmm. Nope. 
<laughs> Bad. He could. He could. I know wisdom. I only have intelligence. Can I roll to see if he's lying? Sure. Because I have good insight. I was saying you probably have much better. Than me. No, nope. you don't. Fuck. Anybody <laughs> <Hey. laughs> else roll? I don't think anybody does. Uh, I don't care. But he's he's too trusting of this guy. I don't, I don't trust, trust, trust him. I rolled just... one. <laughs> they, you know, I trust this man with my life. I would say <laughs> he's interesting. They tripped on his shoelaces while sitting down. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, talk. Give us just a sec. Sure, sure. Of course. And he and he goes back to he take takes a sip of his wine. Or his special cup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it say pimp on it? No. <laughs> It is Jim. Does he wear a big clock around his neck? You know, what? A lot. Yeah. It's flavor play. Yeah. It certainly does not. Okay. Uh, I don't trust him, but I can feel like we can get more coin out of him. <laughs> I fully agree. My, my understanding is this man is not afraid to spend some coin. Okay, let's be clear. We're going to have to break into the door's house, right? Yeah, we are. Let's rob the fucker's blind. <laughs> I mean, for Christ's sake. Finally, you guys are talking my fucking language. Oh. Whatever the... If we do it, you have to be sober when we do it. You're and here I thought and well here I thought you guys were actually smart for a second. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Is there anywhere to buy any oil in the town? Make flasks of oil. Oh, yeah. Oil for burning? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Okay. Sure there is why. Okay. That's fine. Probably give us about any kind of oil you want. Except okay. probably not oil that back. Well, it's not maybe oil. You go to like the the, the, uh, the general store type of place that has things. Does as we're stores. I'm just wondering, as we're off talking to the side of each other, does he ever leave the table? Nope. Okay. Okay. Then, okay. Then back to all this. So. Well, we've talked it over. Yeah. You said 15000 I uh, certainly did. <clears throat> what we were thinking, that's a lot of money for a basic getting historical documents job in a dwarven town. Mm-hmm. And it would take us a lot of time and effort to get there, especially because we're going to be crossing a desert. So you're asking what the catch is. There's fucking well, scorps is what we're saying. Well, I want to know what the <laughs> catch is. <laughs> fucking scorps. Well, let's go ahead and go with that. What is the catch with this? If you're willing to be open and honest. Okay. You? Well, the these documents uh, they don't want to be rid of these documents. Do you know why? Mm. Do you want to share with us why? I have attempted to reach out to purchase the documents, and they are unwilling to sell. I would like to acquire these documents for my perusal. They wouldn't even let me look at them. Understandable. Even being offered substantial coin. How much did you offer them? And I have, <laughs> and I have, uh, Real question. Other, I know, and okay. that's that's his response. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Good response. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <clears throat> and I have, other than myself, of course, there are some other people that I know that are interested in these documents. <clears throat> so. I would like to have them. Fifteen thousand is a hefty sum for the acquisition of simple papers. Who's got the papers in that? I do. Okay. I do. Can I see that? I do not. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. For a change. It's, that's funny because usually I have it during the games. <laughs> but you all just yeah. keep it. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh? You have something? Shall we wait until the next bit? Sure, yeah. why not? Okay. We'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Later!